Many of our flowers and plants are a little behind schedule this year, but it doesn't take long for the insect pest to catch up. And let me show you some things that are already starting to show up in the landscape. Now, one that most people are familiar with are bagworms. Usually they see them at this stage and we find them on cedar, arborvita, plants like that. But let me show you how small they'll actually start out. There's a very, very small larva that's just hatched from the eggs, which are usually inside the older one-year-old bags. And you can see it here just barely crawling along. It's more upright. It's very uh, movable during this, this stage. And as it grows and gets larger, when it gets almost to maturity in the larva, that's when it attaches, attaches itself and actually hangs down. So this is the stage that you actually should be trying to inspect them and control them because it's a lot easier to control them at that stage than it is when they get real big. And remember, they're on many different types of uh, ornamentals, not just the evergreens, but you'll see them sometimes on deciduous plants. I've even seen them on some of my crepe myrtles, fruit trees, and when they mature, sometimes you'll even see them hanging from the house or on the siding. But the best thing is to hand pick them when they get larger, but if you can identify them at this stage when they're smaller, you can use things like Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis, which is considered organic, or you can move into diazinon, Durazban, Malathion, or Seven, and they're very easy to control if you get them at that stage. Now another one that's also real important to control early on is spider mites, and here we're already having it show up on our Boudlier or butterfly bush, and the way we've noticed it is the foliage looks kind of yellowish. It's not really a nutritional deficiency, deficiency, but when you turn the leaves over, you can actually see the mites. We've already sprayed to control them. Uh, you almost need a hand lens. And one way, again, we use is just a white sheet of paper where we tap the foliage on it. If the dust specks start to crawl, chances are you've got spider mites, especially if you see these kinds of symptoms. They will play havoc on almost anything in the landscape. Controls would be like high pressure water sprays. You can use soap oil mixes. The new uh, insecticide called Bioneem will also work on these. Things like Kelthane, Diazinon, Malathion, Orthonex, Isotox, just to mention a few. So there's a wide range of them, both organic and some that are synthetic. Again, the key to it is early detection and get them before those populations get really high. Now some other strange things that you're seeing show up in the landscape are what we call insect galls. Uh, on the pecans here, we'll see some that are called phylloxera galls that are more on the foliage, and it's just a growth where the insect will actually uh, pierce the foliage as it's coming out in the spring and cause this growth-like appearance, and then it finishes out its life cycle inside the gall. So there's one on the foliage, you'll even see them on pecan stems where they can be quite devastating in a commercial crop. You'll even see different types of galls on like hackberries. We've got some here that are called nipple galls on the underneath sides of the foliage and you'll see the distortion on the top. But really it's too late to control these. The time to control would be as the leaves start to emerge in early spring. And usually you want to use things like diazinon, malathion, Durazban, or dormant oils. But in most cases in a home situation, we really recommend that you just leave it alone because what we find is, sure, it's very um, harmful as far as appearance and what you would vis visually see, but it doesn't really affect the life cycle or the health of the tree unless it's extremely severe. So in most cases, it would cost so much to try to control these, it's really not worth the effort to put in it unless you're growing like pecans commercially. Now, on our hackberry here, you'll also see some scale insects showing up on the stem. There's all kinds of scale insects as well. These are some of the older scales that are already dried up, but you can see they peel off. Some people call those galls, but it's really the scale, and what they do is in their life cycle, they get softer and younger, and they crawl out on the edge, and that's when you would need to treat those with like a dormant spray. Again, just keep an eye on it. Sometimes you can just allow those to get by without any tri type of control either. Now, one that's kind of unusual that showed up this year on some of our rose plants, it's skeletonizing the foliage, 
is called a row slug. It's really not a slug, although the larva stage looks like it. What it is is the larva stage of a sawfly. And again, they skeletonize the foliage, and so it doesn't look very attractive on the rows. Any of the controls for caterpillars will work, 7, BT, et cetera. And, you know, we've got aphids showing up, white flies. So the bottom line is you need to get out in the landscape and be active and start inspecting and get things under control before they get away from you.